I'm gonna show you how to effectively change the hair color in any photograph in just a few simple steps. Hey guys, Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions 10 Minute Design, and welcome to a brand new tutorial from IMX Video and Design. Um, and we're gonna jump right in. So here's a photograph I got from a stock website, and we're gonna go in and we're gonna change the hair color. Now these are generic Photoshop techniques and tools. Uh, you can use these to change the color of hair, of eyes, of skin, of clothing, whatever you want. These are just tools and techniques. And I, I chose hair because that's actually one of the most difficult because selecting hair is typically quite difficult, but use these techniques any way you want. Okay, so we're gonna jump right in. So first thing we wanna do, is create a duplicate of the picture layer. So drag the picture layer down to the new icon, create a duplicate, because we wanna select it. And then we're gonna come up here to select, select and mask, grab the quick selection tool, and just start brushing where you want to select. Now Photoshop does a pretty amazing job of, of intuitively selecting the hair, but it's not gonna be perfect. And quick tip here, keep your finger poised on uh, Commander Control Z for undo because often it will select something you don't want it to select so just quickly zap it and quickly undo and just keep moving. You'll notice here I'm selecting quite a few things that I shouldn't be the bit of the background bit of the shirt. Um, we're gonna fix all that. I'm gonna fast forward the video a little bit here just selecting now the other side of the face. Uh, you'll notice that oh there we go. Oh, it keeps selecting the face even though I don't want it to. Um, so I keep hitting undo and trying to fix it. Uh, so keep select, keep trying. It, no. <laughs> it is not letting me do that. So a quick tip, if that happens and you absolutely cannot select the hair without selecting the face, what we're gonna do is, is keep it selected and then go in and do the opposite. So hitting the option key will, will unselect instead of select. You'll see the little plus and minus there. So we're gonna go around and with the option key, we're going to unselect the face and the neck and the chest and continue to select and deselect whatever you want. Pretty good. Okay. We're looking good. Next thing we want to do here is we're going to zoom in and we're going to grab the refine edge tool. There we go. And increase the brush size. And what that does is we go around the edges where the hair is sticking up and where it, you know, and we just brush in and again Photoshop is very good at figuring out what is part of your selection is what is not part of your selection it's not perfect but it's pretty damn good so we're gonna go around the edges all over the all over the image and with the refine brush tool and just and you might have to skip back and forth between the refine brush tool and the quick select tool and again this is this really comes down to how much time are you gonna put into this um, you know, if this is a job for a client, you might spend a couple hours. If this is just a quick little picture that you're doing for fun, then you might you might do it quickly. You could spend as little or as much time as you want to make this selection absolutely perfect. I'm happy with this. I'm going to click OK. And we've made our selection. Now what we want to do is add the, our color layer. So we're going to add a new layer. Hit Command and click the mask layer and then we're going to click the mask icon to add that very same mask selection to our new layer and then we're then going to fill it with any color we choose so we're going to fill it blue we're then going to change the um the blending mode to overlay all right it's now it's obviously a little too strong so what we're going to do is we're going to lower the opacity there we go it's actually looking more purple than blue but that's fine um so it's actually looking really cool already so what we can do now is actually what we're, uh, we can add an adjustment layer to change the color. But actually, the way we're going to do this, we're going to create a group. Select that mask one more time. Hit a group. Hit the mask icon to apply the mask to the group. We then can delete the mask from the color layer and just drop that into the group. That way, we can add our adjustment layers directly to the group, and it will apply the same mask. Now, we're going to grab a hue and saturation layer. And look at this. Just by dragging the hue, we can alter the color of the hair. Isn't that looking pretty cool? And it's giving us some pretty awesome uh, variations here. But by hitting colorize, we can go for one specific color. So if I want to go red, then I can up the saturation. Look at that. That's actually looking really cool. So nice deep red hair. All right. That's looking awesome. Okay. When you're happy. Now, our mask is not perfect. So we did a really good job with the select and mask tool, but it's not perfect. So with the mask selected, we can go in and refine that mask. So grab a brush, make sure it's a very small brush, zero hardness, 
So yeah, small and about 50-ish opacity. Make sure we're drawing white because we want to add to our mask. And just go around and fix the mask. Wherever the hair still looks uh, blondish, doesn't, doesn't have the red up applied to it, just go around and draw in the red. Now once again, how much work do you want to put into this? <laughs> like I said earlier, if this was for a client, I'd probably spend a few hours making this absolutely perfect. For the sake of this video, I am rushing it, but you go ahead and you add as much work, as much time as you want. That's looking pretty decent. I like that, uh, those results. And you can always just simply come back in. Um, actually, one last thing we can actually, there's too much red on the face, so we can grab a black brush and just remove some of that, uh, some of that bleed effect onto the face, onto the skin up here at the top. And there we go. That looks, that looks better. Excellent. I think I'm happy with this result right here. Now, if we open our hue and saturation uh, adjustment layer, we could always change the hair color just by just by moving the hue line. So just by dragging that back and forth, we can change the color and always adjust and play with the saturation, play with the opacity to really get the hair color that you like, that you're happy with. And hopefully, guys, uh, you found these techniques interesting. Like as I mentioned, these are. These are simply tools. You can apply this. Uh, we've done it. We've done a tutorial. You can actually click the link right here. We've done a tutorial um, on how to change eye color. A lot of the same techniques. We've done a cha how to change the shirt color. So click those links. Check that out. Um, but these are very standard uh, photo manipulating techniques that you can do to alter colors in your photo. So using blending mode and using selecting, selecting and creating masks. All right. Well, hopefully you found that enjoyable and informative. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, please post them below. I've got a few suggestions uh, in past videos. So I'm putting those in the queue for future videos to come. And um, hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget uh, to follow follow me on Instagram. I've got a personal account. i got an account for this channel. Uh, check out the other channels by IMX. And please make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we create new content. We'll see you next time. Cheers.